Hi everybody, thanks for finding this video and my blog. My name is Dr. Steve Simpson and um, I'm going to be talking a bit more about the three principles today because I have uh, just recently survived a three-day intensive course on this subject. It cost me quite a lot of money so I had to think long and hard before deciding to make what I hope will be a, a great investment for me and my clients. So what do I think and do I think I got my money's worth? Well, I better say up front, I do have a couple of problems with three principles and I'll describe what they are. The first thing is, um, is that it's not unique. Um, I mean, in previous videos and blogs, I've talked a bit about the three principles, but just in very brief summary, it's our thoughts, how our thoughts transcend into consciousness and how, if we're lucky, those conscious thoughts go out into mind or big mind or what some people call universal wisdom. Well, this isn't a new concept. Um, Carl Jung uh, had some views on that and he called it the collective unconscious, a reservoir that we can all tap into somehow. Ancient philosophers have talked about similar things and so have many religions. And um, so uh, nothing new, but that doesn't mean to say that it doesn't have value. So I will kind of leave that question open just for the moment. What about the second uh, problem that I have with it? And I am not alone by a long chalk, I can assure you. The problem is that it's quite hard to describe to anybody what the three principles are and very hard to explain to somebody how you can use this in your own life because that's the point isn't it why else learn about something if it's not going to help you it takes a huge leap of faith um, once you throw these thoughts out into mind or big mind or universal wisdom you're really letting go of them and we don't like letting go of stuff do we particularly if it's important you are getting out of your own way well this is something that I am pretty familiar with. Uh, I've been talking to my clients about what I call a Zen mindset for a very long time now. And those are the kind of words that you hear in Zen and there's no doubt that they're very valuable. So does um, Sid Banks and his three principles, does that move me any further on? Well, it's taken courage, but for the last year I've been adopting it. When I get on stage, I really have no idea what I'm gonna talk about, I obviously have a rough structure in my mind so I've done it enough times. When I see a client for the first time, I don't have a plan. I just show up with my mind in the right place and see what happens. And almost always the um, uh, things go well. They probably go an awful lot better than if I had planned them in detail because um, that's when magic can flourish, when it's given an environment to do so. What difference has it made? Well. I think it's made quite a lot. I think my performance in the areas that are important to me um, have improved significantly. And I think that so it is with my clients too. Now, I could be deluding myself because we all want to think the best of ourselves and others and the work that we do. So again, perhaps leave that question there. But what I am certain about is that I have a lot less stress than I've ever had before. I probably still have the same things that I worry about, but I think about them in a, um, in a different way. Because uh, one thing I've learned is that most of the things we worry about are hallucinations. Uh, they are things that we think might happen in the future, and the chances are that they don't, or even if they do, why worry about them, save that mental energy for dealing with stuff when it does happen. As I mentioned, this is um, very hard. I mean, to get into the three principles mindset is a counterintuitive thing of letting go of stuff that I mentioned. And um, in our society in particular, particular, we value control, control over ourselves, control over others and control over world events. And we all know that actually we have very little control. And if you can accept this, it makes life a bit simpler. But the other thing that has happened to me uh, over the last few months in particular, is that many opportunities have presented themselves to me that I really would not have imagined. And uh, in a previous blog, uh, at, least, at least one, maybe more, I've alluded to the fact that this year, 2017, I haven't made any goals because I finally realised, yes, I know it took a long time, that the best things in my life have happened when I didn't plan them. 
So that's why I don't have any particular goals this year. I'm going to show up with my mind in the right place as often as I can and with as many new people as I can. And I'm happy to just see what happens. And some very good things have happened. So I'm excited about the three principles. I'm excited about how I can use them, my clients can use them, and also how I hope you can use them. So if the idea of you becoming your own luck magnet and having um, uh, the kind of experiences that I've just described, then please do not hesitate to get in touch because it is your life and you deserve to make it uh, the best that you can. So until I'll keep you informed, but until then, um, thanks for watching this video and um, may the force go with you, as somebody once said. Goodbye.